A snow cone stand turns into a crime scene after a drunk man loses his temper. Tonight, Michael Donahue is facing multiple charges. Police say he tried to break into the snow cone stand. And KOCO's Michael Seiden explains how this all started with just an act of kindness. Thank you. Have a great day. The job is supposed to be fun and relaxing, but that changed Monday afternoon. This man came up and asked for some water. He looked like he was pretty thirsty, so I gave him some water and Gatorade and thought he was just going to go sit down on the picnic table. But apparently, Michael Donahue wasn't satisfied. He just was very persistently knocking and then jiggling the door handle, too. Not knowing what he would do next, Emily texted her father, a village police officer. She also grabbed this bat. I was going to give him a wake up call. Minutes later, Later, police arrived and arrested Donahue. Investigators believe he was drunk and under the influence of drugs. Now he's in jail facing multiple charges. I could maybe understand at night something crazy happening, but during the day, it's pretty safe around here. There's a lot of people coming and going from the lighthouse, so I definitely didn't expect somebody strange to show up in the middle of the day. Yeah, thankfully no one was hurt. Now tonight, police tell me Donahue was so drunk that he couldn't even put together a complete sentence. When they asked him why he was doing what he was doing, he said he just wanted a snow cone. Back to you guys.